Okay, um, hello, I'm back again, and with my fifth locomotive, um, we are now actually into the more exciting larger locomotives, as you can probably see. Um, so what I've decided to do is I've actually decided to put them in the box for this, because a lot of them are already in there anyway, from when I was sorting out, which um, if you've seen my Instagram um, page you'll know what I was doing. Um, so today, if we get on with it to it, we have got the Hornby Class 66. I don't know if you can see that, yeah, there we go. So we've got R3042 um, Coco Diesel Electric Class 66 Locomotive 66843 in Colas Rail Livery. Um, this locomotive was purchased in 2013, I think it was April or May, so around this time of year actually. Um, it is Hornby, as you can see. Um, if we go back to the front, we've got DCC ready, which is excellent, although of course now it is DCC fitted, so it can run on the outer loops. Um, Double O gauge, which is always handy. Um, and that's pretty much it for the box. So we'll crack it open and have a look at the riches inside. I always like to open it on the side that's not got the um, writing on it. But you can see it does come with this sleeve as well. Just a sleeve. And that actually has the writing on the end. Here's the box. And it's got the old style Hornby packaging with the polystyrene. But you can see the locomotive in there. Uh, that is where the accessories would have been. So there's some brakes and all that. I've added a bit, which I'll see properly in a minute. And it is, just put two fingers in the back of the packaging and push it out, which I will do now. There we go. Get rid of the packaging. And there is the locomotive. So, she's got amount of weight not masses and masses but enough um she does this is something i'll just get started off with she does have traction tires two traction tires on the driving bogey this is the powered bogey you got um those ones and the front wheels powered the middle ones don't do anything i believe there's pickups on both bogies so she does actually have traction tires um, although the burst, unfortunately, so she does have some trouble running, I'm afraid. Uh, she does suffer from a bit of wheel slip, particularly on that corner there. But uh, hopefully she will run okay for us today. Um, so we'll start with the roof detail. You can see we've got the grill here, although that is moulded. There's nothing particularly special about that. You've got a bit more detailing around there and at the end there, but again, it's all moulded, all one big piece. You have got a separate exhaust bit here, although it's quite an eyesore, if you ask me, on the locomotive. It'd be nice if they had just put a bit of grime around there. That would be grand. Um... We'll move on to the sides. So, we've got a fair bit of detail around the door here. You can see that there with the handles and handrails. They're half separate. They're technically moulded, but you can sort of feel them. Um, you've got the grills here, which are moulded as well, unfortunately. But you can feel all this detail down the side there. 
can hear that. Uh, and it's similar at the other end. Um, the buffers aren't sprung, by the way. And on the bogies, you've got a bit of painted detail there, that ladder. And on that one as well, and on the other side. Uh, and if you look at the ends, sadly the lights do not work, they are just painted. Uh, but you have also got some painted detail there, and this handrail is plastic but separate. don't know if you can just see that there. Uh, you can just see the horns behind the grill on the top there. Uh, and there is a cab, it's not painted and it's very plasticky but there is a cab in there at both ends. Um, as you can see I have added some detail onto this end in the form of that bit instead of the coupling and you've also got this little bit of detail here, no idea what it is but I'll put it on anyway. Um, turn around, you can see you're pretty much the same on that side and on the other end so there was the coupling there the coupling is small which is good and also nem with a dovetail connection so that's very good indeed and the livery is nicely applicated the yet half yellow ends there the little orange stripe along the top and the coolest rail livery is on from what I can see nicely as well uh, you got the number on the ends as well as the little course rail helmet and title so as it said on the box this is 66843 we've also got that tiny little I don't think that's going to focus tiny little bit there as well which tells you all the technical information you've also got the compulsory overhead wires warning signs as you can see and the ends are nice as well uh, it's a shame those lights are painted and not working but we've also got a little hook thing there um so in it overall the detail is not too bad i think it should be a railroad model personally but it isn't and it costs approximately 60 quid. Um, you can't get this version anymore. And I think it's quite hard to come by. However, uh, I think it's a GBRF version at the moment. Um, and there has been Freightliner as well. And DB Schenker, I think. Could be mistaken. Uh, yeah, I'll have to double check that for you. But... Um, it's a nice logo overall, so I think the only thing we have to do now is put her on the track. Now just bear with me a moment because she, she is a bit bigger. Go. Bit of a flimsy rear bogey there. Oh, she's on. She moves across the track really easily as well. And that's because of the traction tyres. So, um, right, sorry folks, um, I just forgot to actually turn the power on, which probably isn't the cleverest thing I've ever done. Um, apologies for the noise outside, that's a lawnmower, in case you've never heard a lawnmower before. Um, but let's get the Coles Rail Class 66 rolling right way, preferably. Okay, so there we go, and there you go. You can you can see the oil slip she suffers from. It's there. Yeah, there we go. Told you that that curve is killer for her. But she's going, she's going. She's going. Should we try increasing the speed a bit? 
see what that does. And she's going, she's going. Yep, she's still going. There we go, I think that speed increases. Um... Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. So we could probably do without my running commentary, I know. Right, usually at this stage I would get you some shots of her zooming past at certain points of the video, something like that. But to be honest, I'm not entirely sure you're going to be able to get much from her in terms of that. So we'll just do a bit of a follow her around. And, um, We'll just see how she runs. So you can see she's actually quite a good runner. I just shut up for five seconds. You can hear that she's quite quiet. So she doesn't make a racket like some of the locos. And she's stuck again. That yeah, it's this it's this point here, I think. I don't mean the point, I mean this place. Um Yeah, so she looks quite good on the rails. Maybe just a bit like a toy. But other than that, from a distance, she looks quite good. Look. Um. Yeah, going past my lad. So yeah, she doesn't like that bit either. But she makes it. So you can see that. Um, she looks quite good running around. She, I think she'd look a bit even better if she was weathered up a bit, but I think that's for another time. Um, but she sounds quite good as well. She doesn't make a racket. I think I've already said that. I'm sorry. Um, and she runs quite well. She would. She actually used to run really nicely. She was one of my best runners before attraction tires burst, which is why I've fallen out with traction tires. Um, so you're going past the ballast section. So it's a shame those traction tyres burst because without, with, with, if she had them, oops, if she had them, and everything was in working order in terms of that, she'd probably score a decent score on um, performance. Oh, and by the way, folks, I'm terribly sorry about that last video, the review of the OH Hunter, just over here, that one. Um, I know I didn't put the scars on the end, so what I'm going to do, because I can't be bother taking it down and doing all that lot again, what I'm going to do instead is just add them onto the end of this video um, with the Colors Rail scars as well. Uh, the score of uh, the course for performance does reflect the issue with the traction tyres. Um, but, line up, focus isn't very good. But, like I say, it's a real, it's a real shame that those traction tyres burst. Because she was really good. Uh, in terms of getting new ones, I have looked, and I have tried to get some, but unfortunately, I can't seem to find any. Ooh, that's not bad. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find any. So, I'll keep on looking, but um, it looks like she's stuck with the wheel slip for now. Even with this wheel slip, though, in most places of the layout, at this kind of speed, she can actually handle... I think it's four or five empty container wagons, for me container wagons. So I will do a video of her running with those at some point. Um, possibly part of the next running session, which I will hopefully have done for you today. Though, no guarantees. And um, so it could be worse. I'll give her that, it could be worse. But it is just a bit of a shame. 
So I'll be with you again in a moment for the conclusion. Okay, so if we just try and bring it to a stop when she eventually comes round. Uh, here she comes. And let's stop her now. Oh, tad late. Pack her up a bit. There we go. Um, so, there she is. Oh, that was a decent angle in the end. I'll tell you what, from that angle, she actually does look like a right monster. Definitely not like a shed. As I want to say critics keep calling her. Um, I, I mean, I know where that nickname comes from, but personally, I wouldn't use it. Um, but overall, I think she's a nice loco. And I would recommend getting at least a Hornby 66, if not this one. So I'll get the pedestal out and we will do our celebratory round. So I just had to leave you there because in case you didn't hear it, the doorbell just rang. But here it is. The Coles Rail. Class 66843. Okay, I'm going to start again because poor camera will work. It's a bit like a 67 from that angle. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you around.